Hey there, folks. Yeah, you're on the Love Them Knives channel. LTK here. Oof. I like cleavers. It's fun. Uh, the cleaver knives, to me, are just a blast. They're so different. And they're kind of really badass. And, you know, kind of brutal, thuggish looking knives. Uh, especially the folding knives. And so, yeah, I don't know why I'm drawn to them, but I am. And it's not like this is the only class of knives that I really uh, get into, but this is one of them. And I have never had my hands on a VDK knife. This is the War Admiral, VDK. War Admiral, and where does it say that? Nah, it doesn't, it's not billboarded up, is it? S35VN, blade steel. Titanium frame lock flipper. Yeah, I mean, this is designed by VDK. I think it was made by Wii Knives. And I don't know the history, so I'm not going to get into it, of uh, VDK and how they came to be in all this. I just know that there are other knives that they make and they're for sale on. You can, like, check Blade HQ or wherever online and you can see the knives that are VDK knives. This is the War Admiral. I think the guy who designed the knife, uh, his wife named it. And I think I read that somewhere, but it was probably wasn't on here. Ah, come here. Let me throw the paper at you real quick. Yeah, these were up uh, for around 300 bucks, 285 bucks. Uh, cleaver. You know, it's a stone wash, titanium. You can see eight and a quarter inch uh, overall, four inch blade, uh, 3.75 cutting edge, and S35VN, flat grind. <sighs> you know, handle length 4.75, about a half inch thick, and 5.6 ounce uh, weight. And pause and read if you want. Uh, it's bearings on the pivot. And the features. Tip up carry. And made in China, of course. We Knives makes their knives in China because they're a Chinese knife company. Yeah, it's a really cool design. Nice milled pocket clip, two screws there to keep that secured, and just going around and around. Can you imagine the, the machine that's machining these scales? And the terracing, it goes and goes and goes. No, uh, you know, no skeletonizing of the liners from the inside. They pretty much get cut down from the outside a bunch. And it's not a real heavy knife. It's great action though. Great action. You know they made these, and I, I didn't I didn't print out any pictures, but uh, they made these knives in different colors, like green, blue, that kind of thing. So you had some choices there. This is just standard titanium. So yeah, I think you know, I looking at the other colors that I've looked at online, um, it needs some color. It definitely needs some color, as far as I'm concerned. You know, I'm not that... You know, there's so many knives that are plain titanium out there that it's kind of nice to throw a little bit of uh, change up. So, frame lock, you know, it's got the... Mm, the hardened steel insert here to interface with the S35VN blade and over travel stop. So... Uh, you can't go too far with that lock bar. Nice and smooth. It's centered beautifully. You've got some jimping on the top of the blade. you got jimping on the flipper tab. And that's, that's reasonable. It's not real heavy jimping. It's not terribly meaningful, but you can feel it. It's there. And then, you know, <laughs> this looks like it's set up to be ergonomic. And it is. It feels pretty good in the hand right here. And there's no hot spots from that pocket clip. So that's not an issue. 
But that does look pretty brutal, doesn't it? That swept blade here. It's like, whew. And you got some, uh, and you got some material here. So you can slice. And you know, you've got, You've got the flipper tab, so you've, you've got contact patch here, but not all the way, obviously. So you got to get past that to, to make contact all the way along the cutting edge. Ah, yes, four inch blade? Really? Because it doesn't seem like four inches to me. And no, it's not. It's three and a half. I mean, in my world, I don't know. I mean, you can argue three and three quarter if you want, but you're clear under the scale. So I call it three and a half, pretty much. Uh, and eight and a quarter overall. And 21 centimeters. So, you know, you're at about 90, a little over 90 millimeter blade length. Now, let's see what we got for blade stock. Just for fun, 0.158, so that'd be about four millimeters. Yep, sure is, four millimeters. That's pretty common with Wii knives. 12 and a half uh, millimeter thickness, 0.49, so about half an inch. Oh yeah, it feels good. I don't know if I should tighten this pivot any, because it does kind of just drop, drop, but Really, that's not a problem for me. I don't mind it being a little bit like that. As long as there's no, and there's no blade play or lock rock or anything. And like I said, it's centered up. So, yeah, yeah it can be what it can be. It'd be a nice little carry knife, really. I mean, it's not huge. Because I don't really consider that a four inch blade. But, I mean, it's pretty good sized. Well... Take a look at it. Uh, here's the Manix. So the Manix is like eight and a quarter overall. About the same size. Blade looks about the same size. Really, when you when you you look at it, pivot to pivot, it's about the same size blade. Same size knife overall. So it's about the size of a Manix. So I always thought it might be bigger than that, but I'm not seeing it being bigger than that. No, about the same. By the time you know you compare this tip with that tip, it's it's pretty close. The Manix may be just a just a skosh smaller, but not much. Wow. Okay. So. But this is a solid titanium frame lock. So how much does this weigh? I don't know. Let's find out. 5.4 ounces. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. 154 grams. So 5.4. Typical, like, standard EDC thing. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of milling here. You know, I guess if these scales would have been as thick all the way across, uh, it would have been a lot heavier. But you're taking off a lot of weight with all this terracing around here. You know, overall, yeah, it feels comfortable in the hand. Reverse grip, not bad. Not bad. Why you'd use a reverse grip for this, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe for blocking if you were in a situation. But uh, it's smooth. The fit and finish is good. You know? Smoothed up around that flipper tab really good. That stone wash, real nice stone wash here. Kind of makes it to where it doesn't glare too much and you don't have, you can't see the fingerprints and stuff. So it's a good working finish. Never really tried to open this thing this way. I don't, I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can if, you, if you're better than I am, which that wouldn't take much. Almost got it. So yeah, you could open it that way. You can open it with your thumb. Kind of. Might have to flick it. 
you know what it's easier to do with your middle finger like that actually and I'm not doing it well there you go finally finally got her so in any case yes flipper tab much better the rest of the way not so much I mean it's really hard to kind of get it, your thumb into this thing because I mean you can first of all it's got pretty good detent hold but it can be gravity flipped so it's probably about a six and a half maybe as far as detent goes yeah so there's another way middle finger thumb flipper tab there's three and then gravity so there you go four ways to open it you know i'm i'm not sure that i'm big on this this tail here i mean i kind of like i don't know you know knives that where now this is the opposite this gets wider at the end but you know what i'm saying where you you've got more you've got material here to kind of meet the palm and and feel like you've got something here where this one is diminishing here uh not so secure in this area um not so sure that i like something that tails off like that at the end the other cleavers that i've had were they stayed as thick out here maybe even a little bit big, bigger you know so it's a very very different design here and i guess you either love it or you hate it it doesn't mean that it's not really functional it is it feels good in the hand and you got this little tail here and of course you know you really you don't grab as much uh material when you got you know your fingers get smaller as they get down here but yeah i, I don't know i mean um uh, hmm yeah i don't know uh I, i've been kind of working with that you know i carried it a time or two and uh you know just kind of handling it trying to figure out is this really the ultimate ergonomic deal and i don't think it's the ultimate er ergonomic deal but i mean it's a unique design it's an interesting knife and it's not being made anymore from what i can tell so good luck finding one i i went on ebay to look on the secondary market and this and that just kind of searched and you know none of the people that sold them originally have any in stock so don't know uh where you would get one if you wanted one i think you just gotta catch as catch can like any knives that are out of production you know you got to do your searches and stay vigilant and if one comes up for sale then you know then so be it you know you gotta uh, do what you can interesting knife though I like the cleaver stuff so it's a nice knife came in a zipper pouch nothing overly you know crazy about it just a microfiber cloth i thought hold on no i guess not i thought it had one. Oh, i guess not never mind i'm a liar no it just came with the little plastic and the zipper pouch and that's it i thought i had a microfiber in there oh well it may have originally this was i bought this second hand anyhow so god only knows take care my friends hey thanks for joining me subscribe if you'd like um we just uh we try to jump around do some different things some interesting things some i guess that are not in production anymore you know budget series you know a little higher end like this is you know a 300 dollars deal so that kind of thing too we have giveaways here and there. Subscribers are the only ones allowed to win in the giveaways, so subscribe. Just hit that button. Any case, take care. You know what we do on this channel? We love them knives, so stay sharp.